Hi, Chef Tramiel here, new chef at uh, Gravity. Um, here to give you guys a little bit of a recipe that you guys can do at home while we're on quarantine. Um, wanted to bring you guys some fresh, light ingredients, perfect for the summertime. You know, so first we're going to start out um, avocados. Avocados are going to be coming in the season very shortly here. You know, so you guys want to get take advantage of the opportunity to get some fresh ones. Um, one of the things that people have a difficult time doing is choosing a perfect avocado. I'm not quite sure if there is a perfect one, but I can tell you how to choose a good one. Um, when you go to the store, you want to pick one that's slightly soft, but firm at the same time. You know, if it's too mushy, it's going to be overripe. Too hard, definitely not ready. You know, so you want that perfect one where it's right in the middle. This one here is about as good as it gets. I'm going to be making a couple of different things for you um, off the bat. Actually, it's going to be a piggyback recipe. The first recipe I'm going to show you, um, a lot of you will be familiar with. It's actually going to be a pico de gallo. Um, so with the pico de gallo, what we're going to do is we're going to start with some tomatoes. Right here we have two tomatoes chopped, a small dice, one jalapeno, same deal. We're going to chop it, small dice right there. Half of an onion. going to add just a little bit of cilantro to it. Cilantro is one of those spices that people are indifferent about, you know, so add as much as you like or as little as you like just for the flavor purposes. From there, we're going to use some of this lime right here. Limes are another one of those things you want to feel while you're at the grocery store. If it's too hard, definitely not going to get any juice out of it. This one right here is perfect. Sometimes if you like, you want to get the max juice out of it, give it a nice roll on your cutting board, give it a nice cut, and we're going to go right in the bowl with that lime juice. We're going to give this a quick mix right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and give it another mix. Now, if we were to stop here, you'd have a perfect pico de gallo, great for dipping chips, great for putting on tacos, pretty much a garnishment for anything during the summer. Fresh ingredients, really nice, vibrant colors, perfect for a picnic. We're going to take it a step further, though. Just told you about the avocado, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give that a slice down the center. Pop it open. We're gonna go ahead and give it a nice dice. You don't have to be worried about how you dice the avocado because we're gonna take it a little bit further by mashing it with a fork once we get done. Now, for you, those of you that have kids, if you want to keep the avocado pit. Put it in uh, some water with some toothpicks. Give your kids a great thing to uh, play with in the summer, watching the avocado grow. All right, now that we have our avocado in here, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a nice mash. Just your regular home fork. No special tools necessary for this. Now, depending on how you like your guac, is depending on how you smash it. If you like it a little more chunky, smash it a little bit less. If you like yours nice and smooth, then keep smashing until it gets to the consistency that you prefer. I like mine a little bit chunky, so I think I'm gonna stop right about here. Add some of this lovely pico de gallo to it. We're going to give it a nice mix. Now, avocado is one of those things that's very blank canvas. So once you add your pico, you are going to want to season it again. Just a touch of salt. There, just 
the bowl. To the plate. With some chips and to the table for a perfect snack.